welcome to video number 14 SQL reporting service and in this video we're going to see group by 3 and in this uh, section we're going to see the drill down drill down I'm sorry so let's see how it's it works and how it helps you so this is what we saw last time so I'm going to close this thing we don't need it I'm going to add a new item and you all know it's going to be a report right all right so I'm going to call this thing as uh, this is my group by report 3 so group group by report 3 all right so I'm gonna add all right so this is what we have normally as casual next thing I'm not gonna add a data source because you all know we got a generic data source in place so we don't need it and I'm gonna call this guy data as a set as group I'm sorry group by 3 and then I'm gonna hit new and I already got share connection which is data source generic which you can see right here right then I'm gonna modify my query I'm not done with the query yet I was just showing you where is my generic data source next thing I'm gonna add my tables quickly so I'm gonna add order order details uh, customers and in the end I'm gonna add uh, I think products yeah so that will do and this now so far you all know that uh, this query designer is very smart so we don't need to worry about anything at all all right now there's not this uh, customer name unit price quantity and <coughs> the product name so let's execute this query all looks good hit ok and we come back here and now uh, I'm go to the toolbox I'm gonna grab the table I'm gonna put in here I'm gonna get a little more space I'm gonna as usual I'm gonna make this guy as some teeny tiny color has to be teal I don't know green is good okay or maybe I don't know let's take a uh, very light blue <coughs> It looks nice next thing I'm gonna go to my report data I'm gonna start putting in uh, order date okay then I'm gonna put order ID I'm gonna put uh, product name then I'm gonna right click add insert column to the right I'm gonna add a unit price insert column to the right I'm gonna put the quantity insert column to the right and I'm gonna put uh, and why do that did I choose the company name anyways so I don't want a company name I just wanted a contact name hit ok and contact name so we are all good let's save it one second let's get some space and a little pity out let's in order to look this guy is great and save this guy and let's preview alright so you can see order date and blah 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 so now we are going to do the group by and the drill down so what I mean by drill down is uh, based on the order date I'm going to do the group by so I'm gonna right click on this to the gray part I'm gonna say add a group and I'm gonna say add a parent group <coughs> and I'm gonna say this is by order date so I'm gonna choose the order date I'm gonna add a group header I'm gonna hit ok alright now let's preview it so if you can preview you can see the things are oh oh I have a problem so I'm gonna take the order day out column save it and let's preview again so as you all can see that this is everything is grouped by the order date and order ID and everything is grouped and it's nice alright so next what I'm gonna do next I need is a drill down functionality it's like I'll see a lot of uh, order dates and when I click on them the following details like order ID, product name, unit price, quantity and the contact name open up. So I'll select the row below which that I'm gonna right click I'm gonna choose the row vis visibility I'm gonna choose the default as height and I'm gonna choose as toggle when you click on the order date one. Why order date one? Because name of this field if you see where are you? I don't see a name. Order date one. Okay, back up a little bit. Okay, so you see this whole box is order date one. So that's what we are doing. And now you move out. And now save this thing and let's preview it. So you can see all the date dates uh, on which the business has done. It is like has a collapse sign. If I click on any of them, it will open up and it will try to show me a data. 
I mean the corresponding data so this is called this is called as a corresponding report corresponding I mean sorry not the corresponding report it is called as a drill down <coughs> in the grouping by so like you can go one level deep if you want like to you can try and practice the way you want to do it so basic rule is first when you want to do it you right click on it then you add a group all right uh, it would be a parent group and then to select the row on the right hand side then you configure the row visibility choose hide and choose the appropriate column in my case it is order date one hence this is the way and if you care if you take this two teeny two two out so you can see like how the grouping is done and how it has been configured right so this is pretty cool I hope this video gives you an idea how can you make a drill down reports using a group by uh, doing the group by and all right so if you like this video or this video helps you in some way please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching Good night and take care.